Sometimes when we get a new project, whether it's a website design project or a graphic design project, one of the most difficult things is to get inspired, to get motivated, to create that next great design. That design that's going to blow your clients' minds away and wants them to hire you forever. What's going on guys? My name is Lipolo Perella and if you're new to the channel, I do videos about web design, UI design and the overall design process. And in this video, I sort of want to walk you through the process that I use to get inspired, you know, to get motivated to design the next website or the next graphic design work that we have to do for one of our clients. So if you're interested in finding out more, stay tuned. Every designer has their own way, their own method, their own style to do things. Something that might work for you might not work for me, and something that might work for me might not work for you. But I do think there are a couple of things that help everyone to be motivated, to get inspired, or you know, to be able to put together a great design. And the first thing I think that has helped me quite a lot is to build a process. You see, sometimes when you go straight from a client sales and you do not have a process built, it gets a bit overwhelming since you do not know what's going to happen next, what you're going to be doing, how this work is going to develop, the steps that you have to take. So being able to design a process that is going to help you, you know, sell, um, close that sale, then head over to, you know, pen and paper maybe to start putting some mood board, probably create a strategic session with your clients where you identify keywords, your users, and the way that they are going to be using the website or the brand that you are creating. This will help you to sort of, you know, know what's going to happen next. You don't get overwhelmed because as you get overwhelmed, you know, your inspiration, your um, motivation, everything is going to be put on hold. So the better you know your process, the more you're going to be able to put all those, cre all those creative juices in your head into work. The next thing that I find has really helped is to sort of have a niche market and what I mean by this is sort of work with a specific type of clients so now we do know the process of what happens next after a sales call we know how it goes from the design from strategy design and then development but by working with a niche client we also know exactly what this type of clients are going to be looking for in a design what type of content they want in their website what type of layout they might be looking for what sort of skills do I need to work to improve so I can help these clients more and this way whenever we get into a website design project I sort of have already like a mindset or a mind map per se of things I'm going to be looking for what sort of mood boards I need to look for what sort of clients are they targeting what sort of um, language what sort of elements I need to add to their website and this makes everything a lot easier but if let's say you have these two um, elements already, so you have your market, you know who they are, you know you have worked with them, and you have designed a process, one of the greatest things you can do is look at some of the work you have done in the past. I don't know about you, but I tend to not delete screens that I have designed. I've never delete, like if I design a version of a logo, I leave it and I just continue to build on it. And the reason for it is that sometimes I want to go back to some of this work and be like, okay, well, you know, I can take an idea of something here and I can take an idea of this layout that we, I created for a website and bring it all together. Remember, not everything that you create, you're going to show your clients. So one of the things that you can do is sort of create your own library of design elements, design assets that you're going to be sort of using for many different projects. And then there are websites that I'd like to visit. Let's say I am creating a new layout for a new website or for a new UI that, um, interface I need to create for a web app. I tend to go to websites like awards.com and I'm gonna put some of the links below where there's a lot of people who have shared their designs and I mean, I think they get awards after it. But my idea here is to sort of think about the website that I'm creating and most likely at this point I have already done like a strategy session so I'm sort of looking for like keywords, I'm looking for different elements that I know that are going to be related to the project I'm working on. So I sort of started to take some of these websites and then I started to create mood boards and then these mood boards are going to help me to sort of create one main layout. And then the next one that I really like and have been enjoying lately, especially when I'm working on websites that are a bit more complex, more animated, more interactions, is looking for JavaScript libraries. When you use a JavaScript library, you will see how people have sort of used this JavaScript on their websites in the past. And one of the best ones I've found so far is three 
jsjs.org and I think they have some amazing, incredible designs uh, built with this JavaScript library. So here what I will do is sort of look for websites that are related to what I want to create, see how they build them, you know, just get an idea. Right now it's all about putting ideas in your head, not really about worrying about, you know, like why it, work, why it works for them, why wouldn't it work for you, or anything like that. Just think about ideas, think about the colors, think about the way they're using elements in different layouts they might be using in case you want to step away from, you know, the normal left, right, left, right um, layout. So open your mind to different things like this. And then the next thing I think I would recommend for you to do is to always have one or three persons that you sort of get inspired by seeing their work. I have a good friend of mine named Matthew Lett and I'm always looking at his portfolio because one of the greatest things that he does is that whenever he finishes a project, he goes over to his portfolio and I'm going to put a link below here. And he creates some amazing case studies. And this sort of, you know, motivates me to get going to start thinking more about the design, not just about colors or anything like that, but, you know, design thinking the way I'm going to be creating something to work for the user and to work for my clients. So guys, these are some of the things that I do on a regular basis when I'm trying to get inspired or motivated for a project. The question for you is, you know, what do you do to get motivated? What do you do to get inspired? Where do you get images to be able to design that next great website or that next brand that you're creating on? Comment below, let me know. And if you have enjoyed this video and if you have enjoyed this content, make sure to hit that bell button and the subscribe button. So whenever I post another video like this, you get a notification and I will see you again in the next video.